practice for the saw method flying this block. Traditionally, the larger triangle is made in dark color to represent the tools with open wings. The smaller triangles are made in a lighter color to represent the background sky. Of course, you can create your blocks in any color of your choice, but uh, the two smaller triangles uh, should always be the same color for maximum effect. And now we're going to learn how to make a cathedral window flying this block. Templates Download and print the template uh, Download the PDF with the templates uh, to your preferred device and then send it to your printer. You will find the link down below in the description. Uh, check the templates section to find all the info. In this case, you have two pages to print. Make sure you have them loaded into the printer. If you're going to use them directly for cutting and pressing, print them on custom. You are going to make them in template plastic, print them on paper, and then prepare them with, the, with plastic. Understand the info. Now that you have all the sheets printed, let's look at each one so you have a clear idea of all the information they contain. On the first one, you have a scheme that shows you the block and what units make it up. Uh, in this way, you can identify the units and keep them in order knowing exactly the place in the block. Down below you have the templates to cut unit C. It only has a base and one for the pieces, W. Also, you will find the template for uh, the window to cut without single knots. On the second sheet, you will find the templates for unit B and unit A, the base of the units and the template for uh, W1 and W2 for the folded pieces. To avoid confusion, the base template of each unit have indication to correctly place the folded pieces. Making the templates. You already understand all the information on the sheets, so let's prepare the templates. Check the template section to learn how to make it. Pieces. Preparing the muslin. Check the cutting techniques section to learn how to prepare the fabric before cutting. Prepare the muslin so that it is straight and without the selvage. Press well, maybe add a little starch to make it easier to stack several layers of fabric in one stack. Check that the edges are lined up and that you are not missing fabric in any of the layers. Cutting the pieces. Arrange the templates of the stack of fabric and check that uh, the green line is aligned with the grain of the fabric. Place the ruler over the template, aligning it with the edge of each one. Cut carefully the bases and the folded pieces. 4. 4 units C, 4 units B, and 4 units A. Remember that in the cutting techniques section you will find more instructions. Also, cut the window 4 times. Organize the pieces. Keep all the pieces in order and place the template on top of each stack to know which piece it is. Units To make this block, we are going to work with three units, A, B and C. You've already cut the piece needed to build this unit, so let's get started. Choose one of the units to start. Look at the pile of pieces you have and take the basis of this, of this unit. Take also the W2 and W1 that correspond to this unit. Start pressing the folded pieces following the fold line indicated on the template. Fold at one end and press to the other, being careful not to distort the bias of the fabric. When you have the two pieces folded, uh, place them over the base in the way indicated by the template. You set this unit aside and continue to work in the same way with all the remaining units. Always remember to keep the units in order and use the templates to identify them and place them over the stack of pieces. When you finish drawing in all the parts, prepare the sewing machine to sew the units. Take each unit carefully and place it under the presser foot. 
align the border with the quarter of an inch mark or follow the sewing line on the template. Start sewing respecting this margin. All the way around the units, join the three pieces neatly. Be careful where the folded pieces meet. As you sew the units, keep them in order so you don't get confused. Use the template as labels by placing them on the stack of units that you are finished. The block. When you have all the units done, start joining them together. Place the unit guided by the skin as if it were a puzzle. Now, we are going to sew unit A with unit C. For this, we will use the Y seam technique. You can consult the seam section for more information. Join unit A with unit C at point 1. Match the seams. Start sewing at a quarter of an inch for the edge. Backstitch a few times and continue sewing until you reach the other point, a quarter of an inch too. This is point one in the figure. Open the units and press the seam allowance down. Trim. Join unit B with unit C and sew in the same way, leaving point one open. Press and trim the seam in the same way. Now, take the A and B units and sew them together, leaving point 1 open. Press the seam open and trim. You have a mini flying geese block. Repeat this step for the remaining three mini blocks. Take two of these mini blocks and put them together, guiding you with the feet. Match the seam and sew, keeping the folded border out of the sewing line. Take care that all the points are aligned. Trim and press again. Do the same with the other two mini blocks. Join and sew these two parts. Trim and press carefully. You have finished the block. Application Window Templates Cutting Prepare the templates and cut the pieces of fabric. Remember that you don't have the seam allowance for the windows. The edges are wrapped in the frame when applied. Place the fabric inside the window frame and secure it with a pin. Fold the fabric of the frame over the edge of the window fabric. Straighten to form the window frame. You can sew it by machine or by hand. Now, check the apply in the window section for step-by-step -step instructions. Get ready for the project. To analyze the practice, you can use the table practice with muslin that you will find in the resources section. Take note that, uh, of each aspect, whether or not you achieved your goal, uh, the level of difficulty you experienced, and the time it took to do it. Analyze the process and see if you need more practice. Take note of the points where you have struggled and consider what changes you could make to overcome them. With all the information you have, you cannot complete the time management table for your project. Check the resources section for more information. Read the tutorial instructions carefully and identify the different stages. 
visualize each task based on your practice with Muslim spirits. Assign the schedule according to your daily routine uh, and start little by little gradually incorporating these new activities. Choose the duration of each task so that you can perform it and according to your experience in practice. If it takes you an hour to complete the block, for example, don't give the task a half an hour duration. Take into account mm, the stages that you have found difficult in practice. Consider repeating the practice before starting the project. If not, keep this in mind and pay more attention when doing the task. Now, go to the project section and let's get started.